during their first year in America. There was enough food for everyone. The pilgrims were happy with their new lives in the new land. When new leaves once again turned go in the fall. Enough food for the winter was stored up for all. their Indian prince to be there. There were tables piled high with fish and with meat. They plant vegetables, fruit, good things to eat. The girls said thanks. 
for all that they had. Together, together, pilgrims and Indians together were glad. Now we will see the hunt and we will go. November 20th, 1620, Beaver on a ship spotted land. The ship was called the Mayflower. The people came to be called the Pilgrims. The word Pilgrim means a person who travels to a foreign land. of immigrants followed them to this country like in Europe. The pilgrims left Europe looking for freedom. The pilgrims sailed stormy seas for 66 days. They were hoping, hoping to reach Virginia. Instead, they landed in what is now called Massachusetts. But here we shall be free to live, work, and pray as we like. The 102 Pilgrim friend in the Massachusetts Sea in the coldest season of the year. Two babies were born on their journey aboard the Mayflower. much colder in America than Europe. Many of the pilgrims were sick and weak. Many were hungry and cold. Only 52 of the pilgrims survived the first winter. In this new place, the pilgrims need to learn new skills. The seeds brought from Europe did not grow well in the soil. They found cotton bale in the sand of Cape Cod. The cotton had been stored there by the native Indians. Who will teach us how to live in this strange new land? One day 
a group of Native people, the world knows, came to visit the pilgrims. One of the Native men spoke English very well. The friends of Squatter. Squatter had lived in England for many years. I can teach you how to live here. If you know what I know, there was much to eat. There are many plants that go well in this soil. Squatter showed the pilgrims how to grow corn, pumpkins, and beans. He put fish in the ground with the seeds. The fish help the seeds grow better. Squatta showed the pilgrims how to buy clams and eels in the river. He showed them how to hunt for deer and turkey. Children how to make maple syrup. Squanto showed the building children where to find nuts and berries. celebrate the first harvest with their new friends. They were thankful for many things. In October 1621, about 90 Native people came to Plymouth, Plymouth Plantation for the feast. The pilgrims and the Wampanoag sat and ate together. The native people danced and sang. The feast continued for three days. It was the first Thanksgiving. On this day, we give thanks for all that we have. The pilgrims and the Wampanoags ate clams, lobsters, and on the first Thanksgiving. They ate turkey, goose, venison, and duck. They ate cornbread, pumpkin, but no pumpkin pie. celebrated Thanksgiving with his soldiers during the Revolutionary War in 1777. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. Families with relatives who came to America hundreds of years ago celebrate Thanksgiving. Families that have only lived in America for a few weeks or most celebrate too. Most Americans eat turkey and vegetables and pumpkin pie. Thanksgiving.
give it any time to remember what the program they want to know celebrated many years ago. sing the turkey song. skin at the front of a turkey's neck it's called its waddle. We read the story Legend of the Blue Bonnet. So the song we are about to sing tells the story.
little turkey can fly up to 50 55 miles per hour. The largest turkey can weigh up to 50 pounds. Thank you for attending our special program. We hope your Thanksgiving includes good foods and good friends like the one you heard about today. Welcome to our Thanksgiving program. Let's get started. Thanksgiving at Plymouth. Our class is proud to present a poem about a Thanksgiving celebration that took place more than 300 years ago. We hope you will enjoy the program and we're prepared for you. Uh, let's begin. Pilgrims wanted to find a new place to live. They wanted to be free from the King of England and to choose their own church. The pilgrims the, the pilgrim set sail on the Mayflower for the new road in September 1620. Two passenger on the ship, 65 days in May on trip. Twas no from the labyrinth when there is a shout, we until we made it, a voice yelled out. Men went ashore to find a safe place for the group to live. It took a few weeks until they found Plymouth Harbor. Had fresh water, forest, and open land for building. The water in the bay was deep enough for ships. On November 16th, they sailed to Plymouth Harbor. They sailed stormy seas for six. Wait. The very first winter was cold and was gray. The pilgrim worked hard at the railroad each day. People got sick and some of them died, but still those continued to work side by side. People were happy to see signs of spring, warm sunshine, birds, and budding plants. In March, an Indian chief came to visit the pilgrim. Three friends and live in peace. An Indian named Ponto lived with pilgrims. To the pilgrims for to the teacher and from the up and until sunrise until each day ended. in America. There's no food for everyone. People were happy about their new lives in the new land. When the leaves once again turned gold in the fall, enough food for the winter was stored up for all. The pilgrims felt joy. They wanted to share. They wanted their Indian friends to be there. The governor of the pilgrims invited the Indians to join the pilgrims in a feast. Ninety-one Indians joined the pilgrims in the feast of Thanksgiving. Indeed, 
and it will give for his friend to stay right there to be cooked on an open fire and have some peace. There were tables on high with fish and with meat, vegetables, fruits, and good things to eat. Pilgrims gave thanks for all they had. Pilgrims and Indians together were glad. Hunting, we will go. The word pilgrim means one who journeys to a foreign land. Millions of immigrants followed into this country in later years. The pilgrims here are few looking for freedom. Stormy seas for 66 days, hoping to reach Virginia. <coughs> Instead, Atlanta was now called Massachusetts. The pilgrims decided to stay. how to worship in Europe, but there we shall be free to live, work, and pray as we like. The 102 pilgrims landed in Massachusetts during the coldest season of the year. Two babies were born on their journey aboard the Mayflower. It was much colder in Europe. Many of the pilgrims are sick and weak. Some were hungry and cold. Only 52 of the pilgrims survived the first winter.
Pilgrim found corn buried in the sand of Cape Cod. The corn had been stored there by the Native Indians. He will teach us how to live in this strange new land. A group of Native men in the Wampanoag came to visit the Pilgrims. One of the Native men spoke English very well. His name was Squanta. Squanta had lived in England for many years. I can show you how to live here. If you know where to look, there's much to eat. Plants will grow well in the soil. Squan Squanta showed the pilgrims how to grow corn, pumpkin, and beans. Put fishermen down with the seeds. The fish help the seeds grow. Squanto showed the pilgrims how to find clams and eels in the river. He showed them. He showed them how to hunt for Dan Tucky. I showed them how to make maple syrup. Squanto showed the pilgrim children where to find nuts and berries. George Washington celebrated Thanksgiving with his soldiers in the Revolutionary War in 1777. Thanksgiving a national holiday. On this day, we give thanks for all that we have. Uh, 
Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday on November. Families with relatives who came to America hundreds of years ago celebrated Thanksgiving.
thank you for watching our Thanksgiving program. We hope you enjoy it.
Did you know the fold of skin at the front of the turkey's neck is called its waddle? The first Thanksgiving. On November 20, 1620, people on the ship spotted land. The ship was called the Mayflower. The people came to be called the Pilgrims. The word pilgrim means one who journeys to a foreign land. Millions of immigrants followed them to this country in the later years. The <coughs> is that you're looking for freedom. Stormy seas for 66 days. They were hugging to reach Virginia. during the coldest season of the year. Two babies were born on their journey. Aboard the Mayflower. It was much colder in America than Europe. Many of the pilgrims were sick and weak. Many were hungry and cold. Only 52 of the pilgrims survived through the first winter. stored by the Native Americans. Who will teach us how to live in this strange new land? One day, a group of Native people, the Wampanoag, came to visit the pilgrims. Well, the men, native men spoke English very well. <coughs> His name was Squanto. Squanto lived in England for many years. I could show you how to live here. If you know where to look, there is much to eat. There are many plants that grow 
well in this soil. On their chair, the pilgrim is having their corn, pumpkins, and things. He put fish in the ground with the seeds. The fish would help the seeds grow better. the pilgrims had to find clams and eels in the rivers. Squanto, he also showed them how to hunt for deer and turkey. He also showed them how to make maple syrup. Squanto showed the pilgrim children where to find nuts and berries. decided to celebrate the first harvest with their new friends. They were thankful for many things. On October 16, 21, about 90 native people came to Plymouth Plantation for the feast. The feast continued for three days. It was the first Thanksgiving. soldiers during the Revolutionary War in 1777. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday.
Families that had only lived in America for only a few weeks or months celebrated too.
Thank you for attending our special program. We hope your Thanksgiving Day includes good foods and good friends like the ones you heard about today. is probably then a poem about the fourth Thanksgiving celebration that took place over 300 years ago. The pilgrims wanted to find a new place to live and to be free of the King of England and to choose their own church. The pilgrims set sail on the Mayflower from England from the New World in September 1620. It was a long and hard trip. We hope you will enjoy the program we have prepared for you. Let's begin. The hundred two passengers on the ship. 65 days for the burial of the plus November letters when there was a chapel. When so we made it, <laughs> a voice yelled out. Men went to shore to find a safe place for the group to live. Until it took a few weeks, it took a few weeks until they finally found Plymouth Harbor. It had fresh water, floors, and open land for building. The water in the bay was deep enough for ships. On December 16th, they sailed into Plymouth Harbor. A very fresh winter was calm and was great. The pilgrims were tired in their new land each day. From this night, the others continued to work side by side. People were happy to see sun, spring, warm sunshine, birds, and butterflies. And Marjorie and Indian Kate came to visit the pilgrims. All agreed to be friends, to live in peace. An Indian named Squanto stayed to live with the pilgrims. See the pilgrims, Squanto was a teacher and friend. He kept them from sunrise until each day again. He told them to pass them their miles long and long. He tossed them to a hundred and fell in and in and out. The pilgrims were tired during the first year in America. People were. It was a nice week for everyone. People were happy about their lives. When the leaves once again turned golden to fall, enough food for the winter was stored up for all. The pilgrims felt joy they wanted to share the wonders of their Indian friends to be. The governor of the pilgrims invited the Indians to join in the feast. Ninety-one Indians joined the pilgrims in the feast of Thanksgiving. There were tables piled high, fish in the meat, vegetables and fruits, and good things to eat. The pilgrims gave thanks for all that they had. The pilgrims and Indians together were glad. We stay here.
On November 20, 1620, people on a ship spotted land. The ship was called the Mayflower. The people came to be called the Pilgrims. The word Pilgrim means one who journeys to a foreign land. The Pilgrims left Europe looking for freedom. The Pilgrims had sailed stormy seas for 66 days. They were hoping to reach Virginia. Instead, they landed in what is now Massachusetts. They decided to stay. Others told us how to worship in Europe, but here we shall be free to live, work, and pray.
to visit this place they have been managed to see these rocks in Europe did not grow on the soil. The Pilgrim found corn buried in the sand of Cape Cod. The corn had been stored by the native Indians. Who will teach us how to live in this strange new land? One time, a group of native Indians, the Wampanoag, came to visit the pilgrims. One of the native men spoke English very well. His name was Squanto. Squanto had lived in England for many years. I can show you how to live here, if you know where to live. There is much to eat. Many of plants grow well in this soil. Squanto said he filled those caps with a poor pumpkin that they eat. He showed them how to make maple syrup. Squanto told the pilgrim children where to find nuts and berries. Pilgrims love their new homes. They named it Plymouth Colony. decided to celebrate the first Thanksgiving with their new friends. They were thankful for many things. In October 1621, about 90 native people came to Plymouth Plantation for the feast. The pilgrims and the Wampanoag sat and ate together. The native people danced and sang. The feast continued for three days. It was the first Thanksgiving. On this day, we give thanks for all that we have. The building for the whole building, crown, salt, fish, and meal on the first Thanksgiving. They ate turkey, goose, medicine, and duck. They ate cornbread and pumpkins, but no pumpkin pie. On this day, we give thanks for all that we have. Through the years, America has celebrated Thanksgiving. George Washington celebrated Thanksgiving with his soldiers during the Revolutionary War in 1777. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday. Today, Thanksgiving is celebrated for Thursday and November. Families with relatives who came to America hundreds of years ago celebrate Thanksgiving. Families who have lived in America for only a few weeks and months celebrate too. Most Americans eat turkey and vegetables and pumpkin pie. Thanksgiving is a time, is a time to, remember. to remember what the pilgrims, what the pilgrims and the Wampanoags celebrated many years ago.
Did you know Americans eat over 75 million turkeys 